Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone? It's OJ with the ramp up challenge. It's 8-2. I don't remember what I used last time. I have the memory of a goldfish, but what we're going to be using this time is the classic Pekka Mega Knight deck with Poison Zap. Instead of the goblins though, we're going to be using guards because that's how the meta's shifted. The guards are just so much stronger with that recent buff. So it's 8-2. I love going in these videos with two losses because I like to take risks that way. 10 to Gan. I don't know what language that was. All right. So we're going to start off with a P.E.K.K.A in the back. Double Elixir, maybe we'll see P.E.K.K.A and Mega Knight, but I'm going to be spamming everything at Triple Elixir, depending on if I need it. Okie dokie. Well, good thing I have guards there. It's going to distract that Lumberjack just long enough. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was a really good log. That's okay. We can recover from this. No big deal. We're going to support this with uh, an Electro Wizard. In case he has a Skarmie or anything, I have Zap. Oh, wow. We're going to Zap that one Goblin away. That way we can take care of that one Elite Barbarian. While that P.E.K.K.A is tanking, I'm going to send in my Miner to take out some damage. Now I'm going to use my Mega Knight. I had bad timing on that Mega Knight, but that's alright. Oh, that wizard's gonna wreck my bats. Oh my goodness. It's okay. It's double elixir now. So he used Zap. I'm gonna have to pull with my Electro Wizard. 25 seconds to double elixir. This is when it starts getting good. We're going to poison everything there. Zap those goblins away. One hit, one hit. One hit, yes, yes, yes. One more hit, one more hit. Oh, okay. There's no way I can afford any more hog damage. Okay, so with the Mega Knight tanking now, I'm going to zap away that uh, wizard just so that it gives my bats time to survive. And there we go, 43 seconds left. Those bats are still alive. He missed some of that zap. We've got zap, the Electro Wizard, we've got the Mega Knight. There's no way anything is going to make its way through now. I'm going to put in the guards. Little P.E.K.K.A there. He's going to have the hog in rotation very, very soon. So I'm going to cycle back to my E-Wiz and my Mega Knight. Alright. We're still waiting for the hog. I'm going to spam everything I have here. There's no way he's going to get a hog past any of these little things. Look at that. The hog didn't even make its way past the bridge. And that is good game for the ninth victory of this challenge. Boom. Nine... Zero, nine, two, reverse sweep. I don't know, it's been a while. 10,000 gold, let's see what we get. You know, the only things I need are flying machine and zappies. So I got this outrageous deck on Reddit by the Redditor, hello, my name is Nino. I don't know how it's gonna work, but he claimed that he got nine wins with this. All right, so he says, that you just rocket everything at the tower. You just defend and rocket. And don't mirror the rocket unless you know you're going to win. With the final blow. So the tower would have to be at like at 900 health. Alright, he's got a Mega Knight. We can deal with that. Alright. This is kind of weird. I, I don't know what the wind condition is. I guess it's just the rocket. All right. We're gonna rocket there. He's got graveyard. We can deal with that. We got a name. All right, it's double elixir now. This is when it's starting to get a little more heated. Showtime. 
Let's let's do some spell damage on there. Maybe some more spell damage. I have no idea. All right, took out the wizard. Oh yes, rocket. That's what I'm talking about. So you need to use rocket and tornado if you need to take out those really, really big pushes. We're going to bank up the little Tesla over there. And the Tesla is not going to be enough to stop the Mega Knight. So we're going to need to support it with an Ice Wizard. Slow it down by 35%. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, this is going to be a really big counter push. There's going to be something here. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be a... Okay, it's a Prince. I'll take it. Boom! Oh my goodness! Okay, I, I'm starting to see this deck. Ice Wizard still locked onto the tower. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This deck is outrageous. It's It starts shining at like 2 elixir, 3 elixir. Or double elixir, triple elixir. It's not bad. Maybe the opponent just doesn't have the right deck for this. I don't know. Okay, well, Sparky dies to Rocket. This deck just keeps getting better and better. I'm gonna bank my Ice Wizard in the back because my Tesla is still alive. Okay, we can stop all of that. Easy peasy. I'm gonna mirror the knight. There's no way that Mega Knight's gonna get through both knights on the map with that Tesla still attacking it. Let's rocket nothing. Let's, let's rocket my own troops. Alright, so this deck actually works. Wow. Nino. That's an interesting concept. Let's try Ghost Bridge Spam. I think this might do a little bit better. Alright, let's put a little ghost. Actually, let's put him in the front. I wanna, I wanna draw out some troops. He's got an Ice Spirit. It's not going to do anything. Poison misses that princess. That's so bad. Now I've, I've got to use a bandit on the princess. And I missed the pole on the knight. Oh my goodness. It's over. That one spear goblin's dealing a thousand damage. Ghosts on the princess. Let's see what's up. The little ghost waddle waddle. Takes out two of them. The goblin gang is not going to stop this one. He didn't surround my ghost. My ghost connects to the tower. Let's just throw everything at the bridge now. Alright. We've still got the night witch on the right side. Oh my goodness, that Night Witch is doing work! Boom! Meanwhile, he's still got a deal on the left side. I don't know why he used Goblin Barrel there. Everything's tanking. It's not even triple elixir yet. Bridge spam never fails. <laughs> oh, bridge spam. I played so horribly in this game. I don't have Zap, I'm just using my Golem, whatever. The golem actually stopped the goblin barrel. That's amazing. And that's going to be a three crown victory right there. 3-0. Alright, let's do one more. I, I, I'm feeling bridge spam. I'm feeling it. it it's just so good. Alright, so we're going to start off with the, with the royal ghost in the back. And then, let's see what he plays. Let's see what he plays. He's got a knight in the back. Alright, well I've got an inferno dragon for that bad boy. If it comes up any faster. Okay, he's got Executioner. I ain't messing with no Executioners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the bat arm. I'm going to put down the banner on the right side. He's got it. He's got a Mini P.E.K.K.A. That Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to die. Banner's going to connect to the tower. Boom! She dashes on. I love it. Uh-oh. She's going to activate the tower. And my Inferno Dragon didn't take out that Executioner. That's all right. Everything resets, rotation resets. I'm going to put the Night Witch in the back. It's double elixir in about 10 seconds. He's going to play an Ice Wizard. I can deal with that. 
Let's do poison. Just so it's gonna die eventually. The night witch just walks way too slowly. Now we're gonna spam everything on the left side. I need elixir for that Mega Knight. I don't want it jumping on my tower at all. At all. Okay. Just to send a message, I'm gonna block that Mega Knight. Or that Mega Minion. I don't need to, but we're just gonna do it anyways. I gotta zap that um, Executioner away. I was just dealing way too much damage to everything. Alright. He's got everything on the right side, so we're gonna spam the left side now. Oh wow, you have to use a uh, tornado. Again, I'm gonna go with the poison. That mini pack is gonna deal a lot of damage. Okay, we saved it. We saved it. Put the ice golem on the right side. I changed my mind because I want to tank for that mega minion. Okay. I thought that Mega Knight needed that Night Witch. Throw everything at the bridge, even though they have Executioner. That was a terrible idea. I knew they had Executioner. Oh my goodness, this is a massive, massive push. This is not good. I've got to zap that Ice Wizard away. There's so much going on that Executioner is going to take everything out. Okay. He's being a tad bit aggressive here. Alright. Executioner's dead. We're just gonna poison this guy out. We're just gonna poison him out. This ain't this ain't much bridge spam. Mini Pekka tanks for the ghosts. Alright. I'm gonna zap everything just to get rid of them faster. Oh, Alright. I could lose this at any time if I if I play too aggressively. I, sh I didn't really need to spam the left side. We're just going to spell cycle him out. Slowly, but steady. Little Night Witch there. I've definitely got to zap those guys. That mini P.E.K.K.A is just wrecking everything that I have. Spam everything, he's going to use Tornado. Everything's going to die again. But this time, he's on his last spell. I just have to cycle back to my poison, and I am good, and that's going to be a good game. Alright, so bridge spam didn't work in this, but at least spell cycle did. It's triple elixir, that's the thing, is that he didn't have any spells. He would have destroyed me if he had spells, to be quite frank. Yeah, he only had Tornado, but at least that's the thing, is that he had Tornado Executioner. That's what stopped me from pushing everything, but he also didn't have Fireball because of that Tornado, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. The Bridge Spam deck works, the P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight deck works, and this Rocket Mirror deck works. Thanks for watching.